They are hustling babes and good at the game. They play it hard want to gain money and power, fortune and fame. That's their aim. Ooh, that's what they want to gain. Oh, they're high flyers, big time hustlers. Money and power is their aim. Ye that seek direction. Come. Come, daughter. Don't be afraid. Come. Thank you, great one. Um, a friend directed me here. Great one, my heart is troubled. Ever before you decide to come here, I've already seen what you seek. Power. You want power? You want contentment and comfort? Isn't it, my daughter? Yes, great one. I seek for power, comfort, and contentment. Great one, I've really suffered. My life has been in a big mess. I want to be powerful. I, I want to be great. Please help me. Daughter. Yes, great one. You have power. Comfort and contentment when you become the wife of a state governor. Me? A wife of a state governor? Two men are tied to your life, daughter. Two powerful men. You have dined and slept with them. One of them 
is going to become the governor of his state and you are going to be his wife. <laughs> Great one, which out of these two men shall be the state's governor? Daughter, it is not for me to tell you who among the two will be your husband. Stick to the one that you crave from the bottom of your heart, daughter, and that is all I can tell you. But great one, is it not... Daughter, that is all I can tell you, and all that I've said to you shall come to pass. For the winds have ears, and the depths call upon the depths. Daughter, that is all I'm going to tell you. Grave for the one that you love from the bottom of your heart. Farewell, daughter. Receive my blessing. Thank you, great one. Can't I come in for a drink? Oh, no, I, I'm living here with my elder brother and he doesn't allow me bringing a stranger. Uh, so when, when do I see you again? Anytime, we'll see. Anytime? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know your name. What's the name? Uh, my name is Maggie. Thank you very Maggie. much. Maggie, okay, yeah. okay. What is it? Who was that guy? Is that why you will not give me a welcome home? I said, who was that guy? Answer me! Don't tell me he's just a stranger you met and he gave you a ride home. Don't tell me that! But that's exactly what it is. Rubbish! Of course you know I'm not going to take that excuse. Okay, okay, okay. Let me tell you exactly what you want. Yeah, I'm listening. That guy, he's my latest catch. Are you okay with it? Oh. Yes. Your latest catch. Mm -hmm. And you have the guts to tell me. Yes, that's exactly what you want to hear. Uh -huh. I think it's high time you know the truth, Jerry. I don't work in a blue chip company. So you should know that the money I use in maintaining you and this flat, I get it elsewhere. Meg, it's enough! It's not enough! It's not! Is it my fault that you've not been able to find your feet ever since you came to this town? Four years ago, is it my fault? Or you want to blame me for picking you up from the streets, giving you food and shelter? Tell me! Which of them? Yes? I quite appreciate the fact that you picked me up from the streets and gave me shelter. I do. Maggie, mm -hmm. do you think this is what I came to Abuja to do? Who knows? Hmm? Tell me! To be housed and fed by a woman. Exactly what is happening. No. Nah. Mm. Maggie, I came to Abuja to make it. And I will make it. 
My degree will not rust. I know it. It's just a matter of time. And even you, with your job and your degree, what exactly are you? Tell me. Well, I am someone who provides for an idle head like you. No, Maggie. You're nothing but a cheap slut. Ow! How dare you call me slut? How dare you? How dare you? You mean you two have started visiting fortune tellers? <laughs> what do you know, Jane? Am I the only one in Abuja who patronize fortune tellers? I certainly won't. Well, my dear, you will when the time comes. When you begin to understand the bottom politics of Abuja, you will. I hope it doesn't get to that. Uh, by the way, what did the fortune teller say? He. He said my soul is tied to two powerful men. Men I presently sleep and dine with. He said one of them would eventually become the state governor. Two powerful men. Yeah, you know, there's Dr. Okoje, the senator from the South South. And also Alaji Awada. This is interesting. Do any of them aspire to become a governor? Not really. Well, you know how politicians do their thing. Anything could happen. Oh, what do you think? Well, it sounds interesting. Uh, I think you should continue hanging out with both of them until the one that will become a governor is revealed. My dear, that is the problem. What problem? The sutra said that I must be faithful to the person before the prophecy can come to pass. <laughs> what you <do>? Faithful. <laughs> you, Auntie. <laughs> you had better forget about this prophecy because I know you can't be faithful to any man. Excuse me, Jane. I'm sorry. Well, I know it's not going to be easy, but at least I will try. I will try. I mean, do you think being a first lady is an easy thing? I know it's a big deal. And who says I don't want to be a cousin to a first lady? You know. <laughs> uh, but something worries me, Auntie. Aren't both men married? One of them is not married. Which of them? Dr. Okoji. 
whose wife died last year. Really? Really. <laughs> Finish up my makeup, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to get going. Have an appointment. Hmm? Okay. Sophie, I might tell lies. Mm -hmm. Make false promises in the course of my duty. But certainly not to a beautiful lady like you. <laughs> Josh. I like you. And uh, you make wonderful, sweet love. Thank you. I'm actually surprised. But I don't trust you. Because you politicians are all the same. Inhuman. I swear to God, that contract is yours. phone is ringing. Yes. Yes. What is it? Mother don't call. Mother don't call. My wife? Mm. Oh my god. What is it? Is there any problem? My wife is here. I thought you said she's supposed to be in London. I don't know how you're going to do it, but please, we are getting out of this place now. Oh yeah, right? my god, she's just a killjoy. What the hell is she looking for? I don't know how you're going to do it, but please, get out here. I will call you. Welcome. Don't worry, I'll do it. Pick your bag and your shoe, eh? I will pick my bag and my shoe. Maybe just block her and let me see how I can get out of here. Pick my bag and my shoe. Surprise you. Eh? And I must say, the surprise seems to be working out. Eh? I never imagined you running down the stairs to come and welcome me. What? <laughs> I've only done that now. I've been barefooted. <laughs> you know. Huh? Yes. And you're even wearing my house coat. <laughs> oh, don't forget it. You see, I miss you so much. I wanted to feel you. That's why I've done this. Yes. I am impressed. Yes, yes. Very well. And I thought that the women are taking over. Oh, oh, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, I, I, I cooked dinner. You did what? I cooked dinner, yes. You? Yes, you must test it. What happened to the household? How, oh, I wanted to do it myself. Really? Come and have a No, no, no. Just... Please, let me drop my bag and come and No, no let us go and test the dinner I cooked there. <laughs> yes. Uh, take that thing inside.
So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I guess I just have to hustle and make it. My mother back home believes that things are okay with me here in Abuja. Abuja is not easy. You see, to live in Abuja, you have to you either have to be a politician, a thief, or even a whore to make it. I will make it. I have this strong feeling that I'm going to make it. No matter what it takes. That was what you said before you moved in with your girlfriend. Who knows? Things may have been better for you by now. Are things better for you now? At least, I, at least I have a roof over my head. It's only a matter of time before I join the big league. Maggie was a big disappointment. <laughs> what do you expect? A bed of roses from a senior Chikala who have to hustle to make ends meet. But I wasn't expecting her to bring the guys home. It's degrading enough that she had to house and feed me. I mean, I'm a man. I have pride. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Jerry? Your problem is you want things easy. But I tell you something. There's no free lunch in Abuja. Not even in Freetown. Bob, I'll make it. Oh boy. No matter what, I'll make it. Oh boy. In this Abuja. Oh boy, leave that, sh leave that issue. But see food here. Yeah. May not be like with the waste time. Finally, forget that matter. So we're going to soak that food. Oh, we're at the levels now. <laughs> Close. His wife is reputed to be a tigress. Not today, Doris. Not today. Have you heard that anyone trapped the wind before? <laughs> well, I am happy that my aim of sleeping with him has been achieved from now onwards. Henceforth. My travel agency will handle all the travel arrangements of all senior staff of the Ministry of Defense. I know they for ten ten couple like you. What do you mean by that? No, no, no. What do you mean by that? Did you call me to insult me or to intimate me of your escapade? Huh? What? Ah, you two the verse. Eh? Well, I didn't mean it like that. Don't you have a sense of humor? Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, meanwhile, um, do you remember the light-skinned guy we saw at the secretariat? Oh, 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 you, you mean that sweet, humble boy all girls were glaring at? Yes, I remember him. Don't worry. I will catch him one of those days. He needs a woman like me to take good care of him. <laughs> well, he's been with me all night. And uh, right now, he is massaging me in my living room. And he is very good at it. What? Uh, well, I can see you're having a pleasant day. Who was that? God. My dear, there seemed to be a permanent competition between me and Sophie. But we'll see who will have the last laugh. She can have all the juicy contracts and sleep with whoever she pleases. But all that will come to an end. As soon as I marry Dr. Okoje and become 
the governor's wife. Hmm. Jane, that, that would be a sweet revenge. But I don't get it, Auntie. You're supposed to be very good friends. Why the competition? Jane, Jane, Jane. You're still very naive about so many things that are happening in this town. Now listen. There's nothing like a permanent enemy or friend. Only the very wise and clever ones survive. And I am one of them. <laughs> oh, you want? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not really that hungry. <laughs> mm, so free, so free. Who, who gave you my number in the first place? Huh? So what? No, no, no. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, please. I am not Father Christmas. You understand? Listen, young man. I'm not Father Christmas. Yes, I know your father. But that is no reason for you to make such demands. Yes. You can go. I'd like to see your manager, Sophie. Is she around? Yes, she's around. On appointment or personal? Just business. Okay, please sit down. Thank you. Um, hello. Once in okay, I to see you. She said it's business. Okay. She'll be with you in a minute. So you are Sophie, shameless woman. Leave my husband alone. Uh, excuse me. You must be mistaking me for someone else. And uh, who is your husband? You are the one. Are you not Sophie? Go and look for your own husband. Leave Alajuwada alone. Oh, madam. I think you should calm down. Why don't we go into my office and uh, discuss this amicably? You know, talk things over. Talk? Talk what over with you? Talk over my husband with you? Lady, I have respected you enough. If you cannot express your grievance in a civil manner, I think you should bundle yourself out of here because you're becoming a nuisance and disturbing my business. Nuisance? You're talking of embarrassment? You're destroying my marriage and my husband does not take care of his home anymore. You talk of embarrassment? Listen, if you don't get out of here, I will call the security. Anyway, I'm not surprised. If this is how you carry on, little wonder your husband will find comfort in another woman's arms. Yes. 
just a shameless chick? Are you walking away? Chick, chick, old slut! Don't leave my husband alone. Ah! By the time I oh me to look at, I will deal with you in this town. I will finish you in this town. Don't leave my husband alone. By the time I come back here, stupid old thing, I will show you who Tinuke is in this town. Hey, please. Just one talk to her and not tell me to go out. She's walking out. I'll, I'll come back for her. Yeah. I'm not feeling too well. I'm very, very sick. Well, you know, I would have loved to come and pick it up myself. All right. I will send my cousin over to come and pick it up. Okay. Love you too. Bye bye. Who was that? It's the minister, of course. He wants me to come over and collect a gift. And you refused, my dear? His gift does not come without action. So what? Sometimes you surprise me, Auntie. Why? You're a big Abuja babe. Unlike a newcomer like me. Well, my dear, I have finally decided to be faithful to Dr. Okoje. No other man will see my undies until I become the governor's wife. You mean you want to marry Dr. Okoje? Honestly, I don't. Because he has three grown up children. And marrying him will only turn me to a glorified house girl. But if that's what it takes to achieve my aim, so be it. You're really determined. Mm -hmm. I am determined. So please, will you go over to his place and collect the gift for me, please? Sure, why not? <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I'll be going to visit Dr. Okoje tomorrow. And guess what I'll be preparing for him? A very delicious meal to keep his mind, mm -hmm. his body, mm -hmm. his soul <laughs> off any other woman. Except me. Not a bad idea. Can I go with your car? Sure, yes, you can. So you want to go and visit the minister <laughs> with Tetsi, eh? Yeah? Oh, now Tetsi won't carry you. <laughs> I beg you can take the car and All go right. and collect it. Went back. What's the problem? Jim. What's up? What's up? Are you okay? It's Jerry. What has he done to you this time? Jerry's gone. Gone. Why? Did he catch you with a guy? No, I don't know what came over me. A guy gave me a lift to the house. Jerry started calling me names. I got angry and I told him off. Are you sure the guy only gave you a lift? Jen, I'm not stupid. I wouldn't bring any of my lovers back home. None of them even have my address. This guy insisted on dropping me off, which he did. And that is it. Jerry's gone. Is that why you want to kill yourself? There are several guys out there. Jen, I don't want the one out there. I want the one in here. You know how hard it is to get a guy to stay at home? Sometimes, I wonder if you're the same Maggie I used to know back at school. I am. I'm not changed. It's just I'm more experienced, that's all. <laughs> that is what Abuja does to one. Anyway. Not everyone, girl. I'm still hopeful I'll get a job someday. 
Why won't you talk like that? Hmm? Tell me why. When you have a comfortable cousin you live with. Then tell me what would I have been in this Abuja? How would I have coped if you hadn't introduced me to your cousin's friend, Sophie? At least you know very well the kind of financial pressure I get from people back home. It's all right. Let's not talk about all of that. In any case, you're not doing badly. Mm. You have a nice place here. Mm. Well, I still squat. <laughs> By the way, I have a date with a minister. Hmm? <laughs> minister? Don't tell me you've joined the Mandwago. No. He's my cousin's. She sent me on an errand, and I want you to come with me. Why? The minister is chasing me too. I can't stay in the same place with him without him demanding for something. In fact, he is ready to do it by force. So what? Take him now. He's a big catch. Not my style, girl. <laughs> Even if I wanted, uh, my cousin will kill me. This is Abuja. Uh, you eat your cake when the opportunity arrives. You don't know when you see the game. Thanks. I won't forget that. Don't. Anyway, mm. you just go get dressed while we we'll go see the minister together. Ah. Uh, what about Jerry? What am I going to do? Don't bother yourself about him. By the time hunger bites him for two weeks in this Abuja, he will come pleading. Come on, go get dressed. Let's go. Go on, girl. I swear to God, I am not in here. Yes. You had better be. I'm coming. Hold on. Hi, Sophie, come in. Well, thank you. Oh, Please sit down. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. So, how are you? I'm fine. Do you want something to drink? No, 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 thank you. Actually, I have an appointment to catch up with in one hour. Okay, um, so what is this important uh, matter you talked about on the phone yesterday? It's about the minister. The minister? Oh, Habba, Sophie. I thought we settled that matter between us. That is not the matter right now. The minister's wife came to my office a couple of days ago. You mean... Alaji's wife came to your office? Well, uh, she created a scene that almost got out of hand. You know, shouting at me to leave her husband alone. Yeah, she probably thinks I'm still dating the minister. Doris, that woman seems very desperate. I think you should let Alaji alone for some time. Well, Sophie, I am sorry for the embarrassment. But the truth is that I have already decided not to have anything to do with the minister again. Not because of the incidents, but due to reasons best known to me. Tell me something I don't know. Yeah. I have also decided never to have anything to do with married men again. <laughs> you, Doris, in this Abuja, that only the rich and married men have the money to throw around? <laughs> oh, babe. Bachelors no get coins for pocket, too. Anyway, I don't envy your decision at all. Well, Sophie, I will try. I know it's not going to be easy, but I will try. You see. <laughs> you, <laughs> Doris. <laughs> anyway, as for me, I will continue as usual. Married men to feel my bank account. Some strong young men to feel my desire. And um, hopefully someday Mr. Wright to do the rest. Sophie, Sophie, <laughs> I trust you. I know you can never fail me. <laughs> well, let me run along now, okay? Yeah. Uh, that reminds me. Yeah. Don't forget about NGO meeting that's coming up soon. Okay, no problem. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm ready. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Doris. Hello, Sophie. 
jetzt los? Don't tell me it's nothing. I'm thinking of her. No, I'm not. I'm just thinking of how messed up my life is now. Oh, but chill, chill. You'll be better. I promise you, everything will be alright very soon. I just hope so. I hope so. Jerry, don't you think it's high time you start coming with me to the shop? At least, they make one or two things now. Instead of you staying idle at home, because they is often say that an idle mind is the devil's workshop. But if you didn't follow me, come shop, at least you could do one or two things, you know, you know what you think. Who knows, something might come up from there. You're right. Uh, Bob, I want to thank you so much for being there for me all this while. Oh, come on. I'm so grateful. What are friends for? Thank you very much. It's all nothing. Bro, I was hoping you'd come back. Do we have any hope of eating today? Oh, boy. <laughs> How are we going to soak? You know the usual game now. May I check within the first? Mr. Ambassador, there are six, no, eight of them that are coming on that trip, yes. Oh, your country will pay their, their effort. That is wonderful. We could increase it to, to 10 since you are handling the bills. <laughs> it's all right, eight, no problem. Yes, yes. Brother Daddy, you have visitors. Okay, Mr. Ambassador. Hey, I will call you back. Uh, I have some people from the presidency that I want to attend to now. Thank you. Good afternoon, Alaji. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, pretty ladies, please. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Auntie Doris sent me. Uh, so, Jane, uh, you have refused to come to visit me. It's only when Auntie Doris sends you that you find time to come. But let me tell you, the fact that she sent you does not mean that something cannot happen. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's all right. Let me get the boy to, uh, to find you something cold to drink. Oh, now. thank you, Alaji. We're in a hurry. Oh, Jane, it's always the same excuse every time you are in a hurry. Listen, girl, why don't you give me a break? Huh? There's nothing to lose. But I have my cousin to lose. It's all right. It's all right. Any way you want it, no problem. Who is this, your friend? She's very pretty. <laughs> no, her name is Maggie. How are you, Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I, I, are you also in a hurry? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. So, Jane, when am I seeing you again? I don't know. <laughs> uh, always the same answer, who? The same answer. You have worked it out. When I ask you a question, you bring up that answer. Come, Jane. Come, come, come. Let us go into the room. I want to discuss something privately with you. Come on. Oh, please, Elijah. Come on, Jane. Next time. Next time. Hey. <laughs> Does that mean that we'll have a date next time? Yes. We sir. do? Yes. Good. Maggie, you are my witness. <laughs> yes, I am. Very good. Very good. It's all right. There's nothing to worry about. Good. Come, come. 
This is for you to give to my darling Doris. And this is for you, my special sweetheart, your own. Thank you, Elijah. Yes. And uh, our witness, come and take something for yourself. This is for you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Good. I hope uh, that uh, I'll be able to see you again. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Come and take. My private number is there. Call me anytime. Okay, sir. Uh, I will. Allergy. We have yeah. to be on our way now. All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Bye Thank bye. you very You have remained as beautiful and as ravishing as ever. No change. Hope you're not flattering me. No, I'm just saying the truth. I'm just saying thank you. <laughs> so, what are you carrying there? Oh, I cooked a delicious native food for you. You'll like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you cook well? Yes, I do. In fact, cooking it's my hobby. <laughs> yes. Isn't that great? See, I love good food. You can imagine, you know. <laughs> I know I can see. Listen, Senator. Yeah. You will love my cooking. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, trust me. Yeah. Um, can you get someone to get uh, some plate so I can dish the food? Yes. Uh, just wait. Just wait. I, I, I think. Um, 
I don't want to lose your beauty, so why don't we just uh, go in and enjoy the dish nature has prepared for us? Later we can enjoy this. I have. Uh... Yeah, but um, let's, Come let's, on, why don't you eat first? The food, the food will get cold. They will bring it inside. Let's go, let's go. So you know that Come I don't have on. a problem with giving you this one. You know? <laughs> we can always do it, but... No, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> Come on, they will get it, they will get it. Senator, Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's my baby. <laughs> John? Are the dog eating? No, sir. The food in the flask. Feed it to the dog. Yes, sir. Well, that is the situation so far. We have succeeded in getting the appropriate organs of government to approve our NGO. And the next step is to, you know, get funds to pursue our goal. How much funds do we need right now? Well, um, 20 million will be okay for a start. Why do we need that much money for? Teresa, there is something called publicity. We need to do a lot of publicity to inform the public about the evils of women trafficking and child abuse, which is the main objective of this our NGO, eradication of women trafficking and child abuse. Do we have to spend that much money? I thought you set up this NGO to make money from the government. My dear, you spend money to make money. Exactly. We need to make noise, a lot of noise, for the government to take us serious. Then the real money will come in. Not so, Sophie. Indeed. How do you think other NGOs make their money? So, how do we raise 20 million naira for publicity? Amanda, contacts. True contacts. Within the name of top government functionaries who will help to process our proposal for funding from the government. I know a retired colonel that has helped a lot of people with their proposals. But, He's going to take 60% of whatever deal we have with him. <laughs> Is 60% not too much? It all depends on what we want. Can you imagine 40% on 100 million Naira? That is 40 million Naira. I know of an NGO, the retired colonel, helped to raise money. He knows his way around. Oh, that sounds interesting. Ooh. Does anyone else have any other contact? No. Well, on my side, I have one or two people you know, that I could talk to. Well, uh, Victoria, you will have to give us the name of that chain or Connor. You know, his name and phone number address? No problem. Okay. Well, um, uh, let's move on to the next uh, agenda, I mean, the item on the agenda. Uh, last week, so, Jerry, this is what this was where I told you. This is where I manage. I make shoes and put on sandals. You see, the shop is not too big and it's not too small. But at least I feed you. Uh, yeah, I I understand, but I'm confused. What about the prices? Uh, how do I differentiate them? I'm not used to this. As no. for the price, Jerry. You see, this is Abuja. We have high class and low class people. You see, the class of client or customer determines the price. So, when you do it for a week, you will understand. It's very easy. Maggie, don't worry about the NGO, okay? I'll use my contacts in government to make sure that you get all the money that you need. Oh, thank you, sir. That'd be wonderful. Just like you are a wonderful woman. Come, come on, girl. Thank you. Mm. A wonderful woman like you deserves to be well taken care of, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Come. Uh, let me take you to the bedroom so that we can have a private discussion. Hmm? Um, but, sir... It's all right, Maggie. Don't worry about anything. I'll take good care of you, okay? Uh, Come on. Uh, let's go. You know, Doris, life has not been the same since the death of my wife. I'm losing grip of my family. I want a woman to help hold my children together. I need a wife. You need a wife? Yes. I want someone who is nice, loving, homely, and can cook well. I know what I've found those qualities in you. I want you to be my wife. Me? Marry you? Yes, I want you to marry me. Well, Senator, I... I am glad at your proposition, but... But what? Well, it's just that... You don't even know me. We... we, we we barely know each other. I mean, and there's the issue of your children to consider. Doris, that shouldn't be a problem. I know. But it's just that I, I need time to think it over. Are you indirectly rejecting my offer? No, I'm not. No. It's just that I... You know what marriage is all about. I, I don't want to rush into it. Now, tell me the truth. Is there another man in your life? Of course not. Hell no. You know you're the only man in my life. There's no other man in my life. You know that. Or uh, has there been any time that you needed me and I was not there for you? I would really, 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 really love to marry you. It's just that I... I want you to give me time. I need time to think it over. Please. You should understand. Hmm. Well, if you say so, I'll give you time. But remember, I want you to be my wife. Calls me night, morning, afternoon, every time. Night. How did he get your number? He told us to call him now. Oh, uh -huh, yes. And I had to call him because of the NGO program. Oh. He started pestering me, begging me. And I had to succumb for the first time. <laughs> Don't tell me you've slept with him. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. You did? He was out of pity now, okay? He was out of pity. He begged me and begged me and begged me. He said he was going to do a lot of things for me and I had to succumb for the second time. No. Don't tell me you've slept with him twice. Not just twice. I... He made me do it for the third time. Wait a minute, Maggie. It's not up to your three weeks of knowing him and you've slept with him twice already. How could you make yourself so, so cheap? Don't make me dance up here. Leave my dad beg. Uh, wait him. See, after the third time, he started showering me with gifts. Gifts. Check out my handset now. Check it out, baby. You know, he promised to buy me a car, and that made me succumb for the fourth time. <laughs> and after that, he promised to marry me. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Allowed you, Ada. Mm -hmm. Marry you. Let my mother know near you. Yes. When that was when I knew there would be a problem. He said he was going to suck his wife and marry me. You mean, you mean he said he's going to divorce? Mm -hmm. He's going to divorce his wife and marry you? Suck. Suck. That was his words. He said he needed a polished wife. Okay. Why? He's contesting for the next governor of the state in the next election. Wait a minute. Are you saying the minister, mm -hmm. Alahaji Wada, mm -hmm. is aspiring to become a governor? Exactly, yes. He's contesting for the next governor. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. I love you too. Bye bye. I have to go now. I'll see you some other time. What? Um, I just remember that I needed to do something for my sister. I'll, I'll see you. I thought you said we were going out. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you. What is the problem? Don't you like the food? The food is okay. At least it would fill the stomach. Then what is the problem? Well, time after time, I keep asking myself this question. For how long will one continue like this? I mean this. Is this what I came to Abuja to do? How do you mean? Bob. Look at me. Take a good look at myself. With my degree, a second class upper honors. What am I today? What have I got? Pope, you can imagine what I eat. Cherry, come on, stop talking like this. I mean, I would give anything, anything at all to have gone to school like you. Look at you. You have a degree and you are alive. The future is bright. Where is the bright future? Uh, Bob, where is the bright future? All the applications I've sent out, have there been any replies? None. Each second, I roam the streets of Abuja, searching for job vacancies, going through the newspapers, all turn out to be fruitless. How long am I going to continue like this? I, I, can't, I can't bear it. I mean... A favorable reply will come someday, my friend. Someday, you say. When? Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Maybe you should, you should just start to manage with me in my business. Maybe work out something from there. Thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you work and forever you are God, I thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God, and forever you are God, I thank you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. So why are you so excited? <laughs> you win jackpot, my dear. This won't pass jackpot. Uh, Guess what? What? The fortune teller's prophecy is about to come to pass. The senator has just proposed to me. Yes, my dear, he asked me to marry him, but I told him to give me some time to think about it, you know, because you're looking at a future first lady. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Lord, you are holy. Yeah? There's no cause to celebrate. How do you mean? The senator is not the one planning to be governor. It's Alajiwada, the minister. What are you talking about? The senator is planning to contest for the gubernatorial seat of his state. Jane, who told you this? M Maggie told me. Maggie? What do they have in common? 
Maggie has been sleeping with the senator since you backed out. What? What did you say? Maggie sleeping with my man? I, I thought you said that I backed out does not mean she's sleeping with the senator. Okay. God. What am I hearing? The man is in what? Are you sure of what you're saying? Gentlemen, if I may ask, what about those pretty girls we met here yesterday? I mean, those girls, how come they're not here today? Look, my friend, I have told you, if you want to remain in the corridors of power, you better look elsewhere. Those girls are Ogagbanapada's property. You know, he loves them very young. <laughs> you don't mean <laughs> School girls. You see, the parents would have believed that they're in school. You see, at times, I'm scared about my daughter, you know, the way I enjoy this thing, I'm afraid she may take after me and her life will be ruined by old men like you and Ogapata. <laughs> That's my fear. Can you imagine who is talking? Let's look at who is talking. Master <laughs> strategist. For your information, a snake can only beget what resembles it and this is definite. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, that's scary. Definitely. That's scary. Definitely. <laughs> no. oh. Anyway, um, I'm expecting a lady. Something to do with NGO. Mm. They, keep, they keep speaking of every day. Okay. Okay. I've told you, shift some of these your girls to my side. I mean, what are we friends for? <laughs> no, as, as if you're the only one that needs them. <laughs> no, <laughs> making a no, it was thing that I promised to introduce oh. you. Oh! Do you know you have your way in this town? Dim. You know where to get them. Yeah. This guy is a butcher. That's why they keep running away from me. The last girl you gave him. To go. Don't mind him. <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> Don't <be a> <laughs> oh. uh, That's the girl I'm waiting for. <laughs> hey. It's Doris, her friend, that I'm interested in. That foolish girl. Here yeah, she's investing her thing on water. What's your <laughs> business? She has her life to leave. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, I am. Um, I was slightly indisposed. It's all right, we're expecting you. Good evening. My friends. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, gentlemen, party discussion. My lady. Sophie, let's go. All right, excuse me. <laughs> Darling, mm -hmm. what is going to happen in the next election? Um, honestly, my dear, I'm not bothered about the next election. You see, my party is strong in my constituency, so I shouldn't have problem winning again. Winning as what? Oh, as a senator, of course. I'm going to win with a landslide. And I know after that you contest for the governorship, right? Governorship? Mm -hmm. No, I never thought of that. See, maybe uh, the senate president, but uh, governor, no, 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 I wouldn't do that. Oh, darling, you, you, you know you're capable of being, of being a governor. Yes, I know that, I know that. Um, uh, to say the truth, I have no ambition of becoming a governor. Uh, too risky. If you fail, you have lots of debts on your neck. And that reduces your political status. And if you win, oh my dear, they are going to monitor you critically. And uh, if you don't perform, oh my dear, that is your funeral. No, I don't want to take such risk. I don't want to. You can see the situation of those politicians that ventured into such position. No, I won't do that. I won't. I won't. Yeah. Darling, are you serious? 
Are you serious? You mean at all, at all? No, never, never. See, my dear, I don't want to miss the federal action. Maybe if I'm through with the senatorial seat, I may go for the ministerial post or remain a power broker in Abuja. It's better. You, you, that keeps you afloat. At least you make your money. Come on, Doris. <laughs> it's all right. So, how about the arrangement? Uh, you know. okay. Bob, I told you we had two colors, the brown one and the blue one. So I guess the pair of this is here. It's there now, it's there. Check there. I left it there. You say you kept it here, Abby? Uh, that side now. Jerry. Hi. Don't you know me again? Yeah, how are you, Jane? I'm fine, thank you. What are you doing here? Here, I, uh, I'm helping out a friend, you know? And as a matter of fact, if you don't mind, I have things to do inside. Sorry. So you were saying the other black colors can't match to this. So why don't you just make that? This one here, this one here. Who is that baby? That's Maggie's friend. Is she also a sugar mommy? What? Why are you always doing this? You're always picking on me. Huh? How do you mean picking on you? Stop it. Stop what now? You said this was brown. Where is the brown pair? Tell me. Stop talking about a woman. Don't tell me you're tripping for Maggie's friend. Huh? Don't tell me you're tripping for her. Excuse me. It is not fair, Colin. Ah. You are the only one who is doing all the sampling. Oh, I mean, what of us? I just wonder. See who, see who is talking. <laughs> Did I deliver Tessie to you the other day? Tessie? <laughs> but why I told you that guy doesn't know how to do it. Then what is my business? I gave you a woman. It is between you and her. Tessie, <laughs> what do you think about it? In as much as you're right, Connor, but you didn't deliver Sophie. Sophie? No, 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 no. Sophie is a no-go area. Okay, agreed. <laughs> Sophie is a no-go area. What about the lady you just saw of? Is she a barricade? No, you can have her tonight. How about Connell? What is so special about Sophie? After all, I've had her before you. And come to think of it, I prefer Dave Doris any day, any time. Wait, wait, what, what did you just say? Yes, no, is it because I didn't tell My Sophie. Oh, oh. <laughs> I beat you to this one. Yeah. Did I tell you? He knows his way about this town. And he keeps, you know, <laughs> pretending. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. That's why you finish me. Just finish me. No, no, no. no. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, we should be here any from now, but meanwhile, I hope there's no problem. You're not looking for right at all. That's a problem. Can you believe that Maggie snatched my man from me? Maggie? Yes. Look, I, I just want you to tell her to leave my man alone. I can't be sharing a man with her. Not me. Me? I'm finding this hard to swallow. Wait, are you saying that Maggie snatched your man? I wouldn't be telling you if it's not true. Well, this is very hard to believe, but if it's true, then it's a big coincidence. But are you sure she knows, you know, that you have something to do with this man? Are you sure she's aware? She is aware. I mean, I've been, I've been dating him for some time now. My cousin, Jane, took her to the man's house in the first place. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. Um, who is this man that she snatched from you? Um, the man in question is not a problem. I just want you to tell her that I'm not happy. I'm not. Tell her that I'm not happy. That's all. Okay. I'll definitely tell her. Tell her. No problem. All right. I should be on my way now. Thank you very much. No problem. No problem. Well, I'm not just worry yourself so much. Yeah. I will. Just, just let her know I'm not happy with all these. So, let me just walk. Okay, okie okay, doke. Bye. Jane, I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. Did you have to tell your, your cousin, your sister? What I told you in confidence. She was bound to know sooner or later. Hey, I had to save my skin. <laughs> Look, Maggie, you have to put a stop to this relationship with Alaj. Which relationship? 
is still in a relationship. You don't expect me to get married to that man, do you? What is wrong with marrying him? Can you marry a man like that? A man that chases everything in skin. But he has proposed to you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He, he, yes. But I don't have any plans to marry him. I just want him to buy me the car he promised me and I will suck him. Do you think he will buy you the car when he has not yet finalized the marriage with you? I don't know. I'll try. I'll try. But even if he doesn't buy the car, I'm still going to drop him. I can't marry a politician, girl. I can't. In the morning, Abuja, afternoon, Singapore, nights, London, blah, blah, flying up and down, forgetting me, not being with me. I can't marry a man like that. I want a man that I will be with the morning, afternoon, night, for better, for worse. That's the kind of man I want. Okay? Look, get me one, Jerry. One. And I will forfeit millions of waters. You mean... If Jerry comes back, you will put a stop to your relationship with Alaji. Instantly now. Immediately. I will. But the problem is I don't even know where to find him. I don't know where he is right now. You said Hunger was going to drive him back to me. Forgetting there are millions of bigger girls outside there looking for hungry guys they will feed to become theirs. Who knows? And maybe Jerry has ended up with one I don't know. He has not. How do you know Miss Noo? I know where you can find him. I coincidentally ran into him the other day. Is he lying? Serious. Jesus. Serious. Lying you didn't tell me. How would I to know you were still interested in him? How? Jane is not true. I'm serious. No, wait, are you serious? <laughs> How did you find him now? Look, I'm going to take some of it together. Love my girl. Ah, yes, Doris. I need to see you urgently. Are you? No, it's not what you think. It's just that I'm not feeling well. It's okay. I, I will take care of that, my dear. But I want you to try and come. Yes, my relations are visiting me today and uh, I want to use the opportunity to introduce you to them. I can't even get out of bed. Oh, darling. I would have loved to be there, but I can't. I see. Uh, what about tomorrow? Why not leave the introduction till next week? Then I'll be okay. No, so I can come right away and take you to the doctor. Thanks for caring. But your coming will not be necessary. I'm already on the medication. Isn't it better I meet your people when I'm fully rested and looking very radiant? Oh, Doris, come off it. See, love is a binding force. I don't mind how you look. Yes, and I'm sure my relations won't even mind. I mind, though. All I'm saying is just give me one week and I'll be okay. That's all I ask for. But all the same, I would like to come and see you immediately. It's okay. Yeah. And one more thing. Please, darling, I don't want you to stress yourself. Okay, fine. I love you too. Okay. Bye bye. What do you want with me? Please relax, Gary. She has only come to apologize. Uh, I am. I am sorry for what happened. Please forgive me. You're sorry? Hmm? Maggie? After what you did to me, you, 
You humiliated me. Hmm? And you walk up here from nowhere to tell me you're sorry. I, what do you want me to do? Hmm? I want you to come back to the house with me, please. I, I won't insult you again. If I do, beat me black and blue. I won't. I don't think you will have the chance to insult me again because I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm sorry. I missed you so much. Please. Maggie. I'm so sorry, okay? I didn't come to Abuja to live on a woman. Can't you get that? Things will be different now. I, I, I've made a lot of contacts for you and I've distributed your CVs to a lot of places. I mean good. Please. Please, Jerry. Come with her. Please. Uh, what about your lovers? Hmm? Your numerous boyfriends and sugar daddy. What about them? Jerry, you never saw me with any. What happened the other day was just a feed of anger. I, I lost my temper and I won't do it again. I'm sorry, please. Well, I, uh, I... Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Can I have a word with you, Jerry? Give me a minute. Don't tell me you want to go with her. You heard what she said about making contacts for me to get a nice job. And you believed her. Listen to yourself. You stayed with her for almost eight months. Was she able to get you a job? I think she means it this time. <sighs> Jerry, yes, you'll be making a great mistake if you decide to go with her. She only wants you to warm her bed. That's all. Can't you understand? See, let me take this chance. Hmm? A chance of getting a nice job and, for once, actualizing my dreams of coming to Abuja. Jerry, Bob, we have known each other since childhood and I cannot advise you wrongly. So I suggest you don't go with her. <sighs> Bob, let me just do this, okay? Let me handle this as a man, all right? I think she means it this time. Huh? I, I, I will have to go with her now. Let me... Jerry, Bob. do not say I didn't warn you. Thanks for your concern. Hmm? Please take care of the shop and take care of yourself. I'll, I'll always keep in touch. All right? Okay? And one last thing. What? In case you wish to take anything from the house, you know where to find the room key? Yes, I do. I do. I do. Thanks for your concern, Bob. I appreciate it. Where have you been? I've been around. Oh, my Doris. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. Where have you been? You just disappeared like that. You didn't want to call me. You didn't want to visit me. Tell me, have I offended you? No, not at all. You know, they say out of sight is not out of mind. It's just that I've been busy doing this and that. But that does not mean that I don't have you in my mind all the time. I think of you every time of the day. That's the truth. I am so sorry. How about Doris? Just, how can go away? You just disappear. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? Please. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. So, how is politics? Well, we are playing it. You must have heard uh, over the radio that uh, I'm leaving Abuja to my home state. Really? Yes. For what? My people are presenting me as my party's gubernatorial candidate That's... in the next election, yes. That is great! 
That is so nice. Oh God. Everything I have ever prayed for is beginning to manifest. Thank you, Doris. Don't worry, Alaji. Yes. You will win with a clear majority. Thank you, thank you. That thank is you. if you have the right people behind you. Oh, Doris, I have able and capable hands around me. It's nice. Yes. So, what about your wife? Will she be accompanying you to the state house? I don't think so. Why? I mean, she's been with you all this while. I deserve a new wife. You understand? That woman gives me too much trouble. I am done for if I take her to the state house. Because I'll wake up one day and that woman would have planned and executed a coup d'etat against me. You don't know her. That woman, she's trouble. Uh -uh. I have been planning to take a new wife and I must do so. A new wife? Yes. And I have even proposed to the new wife. Really? So, who is this? Lucky woman. You should know her. Uh, she's your cousin's friend, Jane's friend. Um, yes, Maggie. How about Alaji? Maggie. That small girl? She's fine, small no, girl. No, Alaji, you, you don't need a girl like that. No, 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 this is a fine, small no, girl. No, you don't need a girl. Beautiful. Presently now, she is living with her younger lover. What? Yes. Maggie? Alaji, in fact, you don't need a small girl. You Maggie? need a woman. I mean, you can't be sharing your woman with, I mean, all these small, small, jobless boys. No, it's impossible. You don't need a woman like that. Alaji, come on now, please. Is that true? Go and see for yourself. Because that girl looks like the kind of girl that I want as my first lady. Oh, please, Alaji, please. <sighs> Abba. Maggie? Yeah. 